Well, the idea uh, actually came uh, to, to give him credit from my son, Caleb. <laughs> he said, Dad, he said, you should think about starting a podcast. Um, he said, I think it would be a great way to prospect. He said, I think it would be a great way to get your name out there in the community uh, because of social media and the popularity of podcasts today and so many podcast listeners who are always looking for a good podcast. And so uh, JT Tomlin happened to be working with us and sort of mentioned that to JT. He took the idea, began to run with it. He's very technical. And uh, we had a team of people who got involved with it. And so uh, JT actually, for very low dollar, helped build out this little studio space. It, it looks probably a lot uh, nicer and all than it actually costs. I mean, it, it's a, a pretty inexpensive deal, but it uh, it's worked well for us. And what we want to do is make our customer and our prospects the hero of the story. So what we do, we call this podcast, Make Your Remarkable. So we don't even mention Oconee State Bank when we have these podcasts. I mean, everybody knows that it's hosted by Oconee State Bank, but we don't talk about ourselves. We want to talk about the, the guests that we have on the show and highlight them and let them do the talking. And then we take it and blast it as best we can to all social media outlets uh, that they want us to and our own social media outlets to bring them attention and to spotlight them. And we think by doing that, if we do it authentically and in a real way that it will pay dividends back to us over time. Uh, and it's a sales call. I mean, how many times have you tried to get in the door of someone and you can't, you can't make that initial call, but if you call and say, Hey, Jack, I'd love for you to be on my podcast. I want to highlight your company and we're going to broadcast this out to, you know, our social media outlets and give you a copy of it, et cetera, et cetera. Typically the executives of that country, a company, it, it, it gets their attention and they will agree to be a part of it. And we don't hound them afterwards or anything like that, but I got to believe they may sit and think, well, my, my bank hasn't invited me to be on a, a podcast or done anything like this. So we're trying to think differently uh, we're trying to be thought leaders and, you know, not just market leaders, but thought leaders. And so that's sort of how that came about. So I guess I have to give Caleb the initial credit for that. <laughs>